Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss about dependent and independent events. So, before we uh, define kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng dependent and independent events, so, uh, gawin muna natin itong activity na to para madali sa atin no, identify kung ano ba yung dependent saka independent events. So, state whether the result of the first event affects the result of the second event. Alright, so for number one, studying hard, getting a high grade. For event number two, eating a lot, gaining weight. For event number three, playing computer games, submitting all assignments and project on time. Number four, tossing a coin, rolling a die, and getting a six. And for event number five, attending a singing lesson, raining today. So for number one, so... Yung word na studying hard, so uh, sa tingin nyo ba makaka-apekto yan sa pangalawang event? ba diba? Yes, uh, makaka-apekto class. So kapag nag-aaral ka, talagang mataas yung probability na makakuha ka ng mataas na grade. So kung hindi ka mag-aaral, ibig sabihin uh, malit yung chance na makapasa ka. ba diba? So, therefore, itong number one natin, yung unang event natin, nakaka-apekto dun sa pangalawang event. Kagaya rin sa number two. So, eating a lot, you're gaining a weight. So, ibig sabihin, no, kung kumakain ka ng marami araw-araw, so, ibig sabihin, mataas yung chance na tumaba ka. Diba? So, kung hindi ka naman kuma, malakas kumain, of course, yung weight mo, mas mababa. So, kaya nakaka-apekto rin itong first event natin dun sa pangalawang event. Sa pangatlo, playing computer games and submitting all assignments and project on time. So, tingin nyo ba makaka-apekto yung paglalaro ng computer games or online games sa pag-submit nyo ng mga tasks at projects? Yes, nakaka-apekto yun kasi lalo na ngayon sa online class natin no? at sa modular So, kung hindi ka marunong mag-manage ng time mo, ma maapektuhan yung pagpasa mo talaga ng mga performance tasks at uh, activities. Kasi, kung uh, napapriority mo yung paglalaro ng computer games, so, pwedeng maapektuhan yung pag-submit mo ng mga hinihingi ng mga subject teachers mo. So, sa number 4, okay, yung tossing a coin, sa tingin nyo, ah, uh, may kinalaman ba yung result ng tossing a coin sa rolling a die and getting a 6? Wala, ba? Diba? So, wala. Hindi siya makaka-apekto doon sa result ng pangalawang event. So, walang kinalaman yung uh, kung ano mang kinalabasan ng tossing a coin at doon sa pag-roll natin ng die. So, wala silang kinalaman. So, sa number 5, may kinalaman ba yung pag-attend mo ng singing lesson sa pag-ulan? wala rin kinalaman yon So, walang kinalaman na umaten ka ng singing lesson tapos umulan. O kaya, sa bawat pag mo ng singing lesson, umuulan. So, walang kinalaman yon no? So, therefore, itong number 4 and 5, sila yung mga event, no? Yung mga event, yung unang event ay walang kinalaman don sa pangalawang event. Pero itong 1, 2, and 3, so yung unang event affects the... Uh, result for the second event. Okay. So, yung mga yan, so yung number 1 to 3, yan yung tinatawag nating dependent events. Okay. Again, so yung number 1, 2, and 3, yan yung tinatawag nating dependent events. Yung number 4 and 5, yan naman yung tinatawag nating independent events. So, Ibig sabihin class, pag dependent events, yung unang event nakaka-apekto dun sa pangalawang event. Pero sa independent events, yung unang event wo hindi siya nakaka-apekto dun sa pangalawang event. So da, dito pa lang uh, ma-define niyo na yung pagkakaiba ng dependent and independent events. So pag sinabi nating dependent events class, the result of one event affects the result of the other event. So, kagaya nga ng, sa activity number 1, 2, and 3 natin. Pag sinabi namang independent events, 
the occurrence of one event does not affect the occurrence of the other. So, tandaan lang natin yan. So, para mas uh, ma-explore pa natin kung ano yung dependent and independent events na, na ito, so, magbibigay pa ako ng uh, limang examples. So, decide whether the two events are dependent or independent uh, events. So, pwede nyo akong sabayan sumagot class, no? So, for number one, rolling up five on consecutive turns in a game. So, what do you think? Independent ba yan or dependent? Yes, independent events po. Bakit? The result of the first roll does not affect the result of the second roll. So, the, therefore, independent events yan. Number two, drawing a card from a deck of cards, returning it, and drawing another card. So, nandun yung word na binalik. Okay? So, dun pa lang malalaman mo na ito ay independent events. So, kapag may nakita kayo class na uh, with replacement, with repetition, so, yan ay independent events. Kasi, wala, uh, w hindi magbabago no, yung ano natin dun sa pangalawang event. So, ibig sabihin dito sa number 2 natin, since the first card is returned to the deck of cards, so, the probability of the second event is not affected. Okay? So, for number 3, drawing a card from a deck of cards and drawing a second card. So, what do you think? Dependent events. Bakit? In this case, so, kasi since the first card was not returned to the deck of cards, so, the probability of the event is affected as there are now 51 cards. So, Kung ito ay yung standard deck of cards class, so alam natin yung deck of cards is 52. Diba? 52 lahat yon. So, kung sa una, nakakuha na, nag-draw na siya ng isang card, so sa pangalawang draw niya, ilan na lang yung card na natitira? 51 na lang, nabawasan. So, dependent events. Next, working hard and achieving your goals. So, kag kagaya to kanina, no? So, this is, Dependent events. So, no, nakaka-depende itong achieving your goals dun sa pagtatrabaho mo. Okay? Next. Number five, awarding the top two racers. So, awarding the top two racers, so also dependent events. Bakit dependent events? So, let's say merong limang uh, racers, tapos dalawa lang ang kukunin dun. So, kung ang isa ay na-award na, na a second place, so meron na lang apat. Diba? Meron na lang apat na uh, pagkukunan kung sino man nalo sa first place. So, therefore, si number five is dependent events. Okay? So, uh, sana naintindihan yung pagkakaiba na independent and dependent events. So, ngayon, kayo naman. Uh, test yourself. So, meron akong niready ditong 15 questions. So, sagutan nyo. So, para ma Test nyo rin yung sari, uh, sarili nyo kung talagang naintindihan na yung pagkakaiba ni dependent and independent events. Okay? So, bigyan ko kayo ng siguro mga 30 seconds or stop nyo muna yung video sa kanya i-play ulit. Okay? So, ito na yung sagot. For number one, ang sagot natin dyan is independent okay number 2 okay independent din yan number 3 dependent okay number 4 electing the president so dependent yan no kasi kung na-elect na yung uh, president so mabawasan na yung pagpipilian for vice president next selecting to dif uh, different ice cream flavors for a cone Okay, dependent. Okay, no. number six, independent. Seven, sil ten, uh, selecting two different doors, one way in and the other way out. Dependent. Number eight, choosing your seat and your friend's seat for a photo shoot. Dependent. Okay, so next, number nine to fifteen. Okay, so pwede nyo muna i-post yung video sa kanya it pagpatuloy 
Okay, for number 9, the answer is selecting a two-letter initial for your child's name. In which repetitions of the letter is possible? So, this is independent. Kasi, uh, which re uh, merong repetition. So, independent. Selecting two different digits for a code. So, this is dependent. Number 11, so rolling 5 on a die and drawing a red card from a deck of cards. Independent. Teachers chooses one student to lead one group and another student to lead another group. So that is dependent. Selecting two pots of flowers in succession to be used for the stage decor. Dependent. And number 14, spinning blue and red on a spinner. This is independent and for number 15 pick uh, picking even on one box and add on another box of numbers independent okay so if you get 15 out of 15 congratulations in advance so you can share your score sa comment section ng video lesson ito sana natut na intindihan niyo pagkakaiba ng independent at dependent events so yung next video lesson natin dito ay yung pag compute naman ng probability ng independent and dependent events. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.